we, we, we always want to see what is the pain point. If you have a pain point, I can tell you, technically I can find something. I have a painkiller, okay? <laughs> Um, so thanks for Grant to give me the opportunity to present today. But since we are not many here today, so I probably want to make it as more of an interactive. So if you have any questions, just ask. Um, uh, like uh, what Grant just mentioned, uh, um, I am local. Uh, I'm, uh, I run my own business. I am an uh, uh, IT consultant in a way that I support small and medium business with all the IT requirements. So. The topic today is more of like uh, uh, what I have learned through this COVID um, virus period um, uh, and the things that I have learned and maybe some of the things that you, uh, you can take away and see if it can benefit in your business. So um, like what I mentioned, this is uh, from PC on site. Uh, a little bit about myself, I have been in New Zealand since 1996 and start my business at about uh, year 2002 uh, working in the, in the IT industry as freelancer uh, become a franchisee of, for a company called PC People for about four years and then start running my own business it goes up and down and things like that you, uh, those, those of you run your own business you probably know how it's like um, uh, and my health is kind of all go up and down too. So um, since uh, 2018, I have a hip replacement and that actually give me back my full energy. So and I, I start to think, hey, why not you know, go back into the business world and start fresh and you know. Uh, so I start back as PC on site from 2018. So till now it's about two years. But during this period of time, I have continued to support my uh, old customer all the way from like when I was a franchisee. So my customer have been very loyal to me and follow me for all these years. The, the key is very important is because I understand what those customer needs and I always provide support to what they need and make sure they use the technology smoothly in their business and in their personal life. So that is what I have been doing. Um, a little bit about myself and I have a family. I live local just down the corner and I have three kids, uh, two boys and a girl, uh, keeping me very busy. Uh -huh. And they all attend a school just over the corner down there in Howick Primary School. So, and now it's school holidays, so the household is very, very busy. <laughs> Okay, so um, when, when COVID start, um, I remember the day when uh, 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 Jacinda uh, announced it, I was actually on the road to pick up some equipment for a customer because they, f they are feeling that they might have to work from home. Uh, when I hear that announcement, I immediately want to call my wife and guess what happened? None of the phone call works because the whole network is down because of the congestions. So, luckily enough, I have another means of communicating is using an uh, app called WeChat. Some of, some of you may, may know it. Uh, it's very popular in the Chinese community. I think in the uh, Indian community, they use WhatsApp. So, when the, when the phone network is down, there's another way you can use. So remember that. So uh, in that time, I start to be very busy. Uh, busy in a way to help and support people to going through the lockdowns, uh, especially the two, the two days before lockdown. I have to get all the equipment ready, help people to set up the networks. One very important thing is to set up with most so I can actually train the user. You probably have used lots of the technologies like Zoom, like uh, uh, what else, Skype, Team, and all those technologies. Amazingly, some of your customers, they don't know how to use it. So just remember, in this world, 
technology is so advanced. If you want to achieve something, there is a solution there out there already. You don't need to reinvent it. All you need is find it and use it to solve your problem. Uh, well, just like what I mentioned, since lockdown, remote work become a new norm. And because of the social distance, uh, all aspects of our life have been changed. Um, I'm a church goer. I'm a, a, a parent of three students from primary school. And I run a business. And I have uh, friends, they struggle with their business. So during this lockdown, we, I actually learned to apply the technology in all different scenarios. Just like I mentioned, I'm a churchgoer, so the first thing after lockdown, what do we do? We have to figure out ways how can we meet, how can we worship. So the, luckily in our um, uh, a group, most of us are very techy. So uh, immediately we, we get a Zoom account schedule meetings, but there's a but. We have some senior members in our church group. What can we do? So just before lockdown, our young people, they have to go to visit every home and train all those senior members one-on-one -on -one how to join meetings. So, so technology is really advanced. It's available. But can they benefit those people all around? The key of it is training. So like when you run a business, you might have already got apps and platforms that is supporting your business. But the but is, can you use it effectively to achieve what you need? So PC Onsite is about to help you to choose the right platform and also to help you to adapt the platform so you can use your tools effectively. So we talk about that um, in our worships. We have uh, used Zoom meetings, used um, for our sermons and also for fellowship. We often have, uh, uh, we often meet like this. In the off time, we have about 20 of us that we can it's mainly like um, not just preaching but also a very good opportunity to so so to catch up with everybody and to support uh, each other and during the lockdown i have visited uh well, i tell that later on i do have the opportunity to visit people because uh there's another business i developed through the lockdown and i noticed the people like uh even though they are they, they, they look good, but they feel lonely because of lack of that face-to-face -face opportunity. So, uh, but that is a good way. We have uh, maintained our church uh, group meetings for through the whole lockdown. And afterwards, we actually develop like online uh, study groups. And because we find it is a, a, a lot easier to do online study groups than to get everybody from all over Auckland to come together. Online is very good so we do learn that not only just meet face to face online is a good opportunity too so the next thing we have i have to learn is about getting my children to the online study it is a big mission i i probably understand why some of the parents they they struggle even as like a tech, techie as a, we are we still struggle to find the schedule, the link to the, the meeting, and then the password got changed, and the connection get dropped. So there's lots of situations needs to be handled. Um, so that is a remote learning that we, we have. Uh, when we are using online platform, we have to make sure not just the online platform that you set up, but the communication channel. So like for me, I use WeChat, I use Facebook Messenger, I use text message. <laughs> that is probably one of the easy way. That is, we talk about worship, we talk about study, and now come back to business side of it. Uh, 
I probably want to share with you one uh, thing I have uh, done through the lockdown is uh, one of my friend he runs a farm when when the lockdown came uh, because of all those like uh, restaurants and bars and they all close they their produce is they can't sell it because nobody wants it so, but lots of people at home they want to buy stuff and they can't get it because the supermarket is so busy so through the lockdown i i actually uh use about two days set up an online store for my friend and the grow the growers around the area and um introduce it into the wechat market and also an online shop and help the business in that area to just sell their uh sell their products directly to the end user and we actually got uh, the MPI to give us the, you know, the essential work, essential work um, certificate. And I, that's why I was able to drive everywhere to visit people to deliver products. So that is why during the lockdown, I was so busy because I can actually go out and visit people um, and to deliver those products. So you, you, you see, uh, when it's a challenging, but it's an opportunity. Um, during the lockdowns, I also spend lots of time with my, this is, uh, he, he's my business coach. He helped me a lot to define my business, to find my focus, and, and he even helped me with the presentation, so he's amazing. Uh, I, I, I learned all these things because like, um, you can do it, when there's opportunity, you just need to find it. So during the lockdown period, just right after the, when it gets to level two, I got lots of calls about training how to use Zoom. There was a big group of my customer from the early childhood education from the kindergartens. They want to do uh, meetings online with the children. So, um, amazing enough even though everybody probably have used zoom but there's so much functions in zoom that people don't know how to do it how to schedule a meeting effectively turn off the passwords enable waiting rooms you know and how to change the view from a gallery view to a list view all those very little things to make an effective presentation it's not difficult but uh, in, the, in the kindergartens, most of those teachers, they don't know how to use it. So I have run quite a few seminars uh, with the kindergartens to just train them to use Zoom effectively. So that, that is one of the things. And I help business to move fully online. Before lockdown, lots of my customers, they are kind of like uh, uh, have the systems uh, all over the place. So, for example, like uh, uh, with most of our business, we have emails, we have calendars, we have contacts, we have documents to share, and all those things. Are all your these things, information that you have, are they in one place or are they all over the place? Are they on one phone or are they on your laptop? Is that a way for you to seamlessly to link them together? Most of the business. Uh, that I come across nowadays, they still have all these things scattered all over the place. But there is ways you can actually put them all in one bucket. So to, I have been helping uh, my customers recently in doing actions like that, putting all these things together. Very simple. It's not going to cost you an arm and leg. Lots of people think, oh, implement a system is very costly. No, it is not. If you find the right solution, it will just cost you very little. I have a, last week I helped a customer to, to, to migrate a database. This customer have over 10,000 products and it's all customized products. Previously, they hired a person to put all the products into an uh, Excel spreadsheet. That Excel spreadsheet is over one gigabyte. 
okay? Because they have to put pictures inside. So uh, they have hired that person already for six months to just do this little product, to do these projects. And I come along and I, co I convert that Excel sheet into a Google sheet. And now they can share among the office. They have about four users need to access the, da the database at the same time doing live updates. Pre previously, when they have it in Excel, they can't. Because you know, even if you share the document to the network, in Excel, you cannot activate it, uh, edit it at the same time. But I moved the whole database into G Sheet and everything worked perfectly. And that only cost them about four hours of my labor. And compared, they have to hire somebody for six months. So you see, this technology, this solutions for you, you just need to find the right solution, adapt to it, and it will save you lots of efforts and money too. So uh, I think that is probably what I want to wrap up today. COVID is a challenge, it's an opportunity. We have the technology to handle the challenge. Uh, this slide is to show you all the tools that is available to handle pretty much every angle of your business from uh, marketing, from uh, uh, handling your customer, your documents, to your invoicing and everything. All those tools, they are all online. So those are the people that I work with, uh, have softwares, networks, hardwares, and so pretty much for small business, I cover uh, all the IT requirements, really. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So uh, that's me, Tony from PC Onsai.